All right, here I am off to a slow start on my recording. So let's go ahead and um, be flat on the floor, uh, seat bones in the middle of your seat, stacking one vertebra on top of the uh, one below, rolling your shoulders back, closing your eyes down, and start slowing and deepening your breathing. Quieting down the mind. This is not the time to think of that to-do list. This is not to, the time to remember those memories. This is time to spend with your body, with yourself. So as you're slowing your breathing down, Scanning through and over your body, making a note of any places that are tight or stiff or just need some special attention today. Directing the breath to those places. Starting a gentle head roll. Stop and go the other direction. Making your way to center, stretch one arm out to the side, one arm out to the front, and then we're going to gently switch the arms as we look the other way with the head. Just forming the back up, getting this ready to move. Making your way to center, both arms out long, and then bringing them up, stretch one up and then the other. Stretch both up, center, stretch forward just a bit, and then up, and maybe back just a bit. Back up to center, up and over to one side and then up and over to the other side. Whoops, that creeping with me. Making your way back up to center and releasing the arms down. Moving into cat cow, so swaying the back, chin up for cow, arching the back, chin down for cat, and just flowing back and forth between these two poses, enjoying the stretch. Making your way to center, heel toe, the feet out wide, chair width apart, and then leading with one shoulder, we'll do a full torso uh, circle. And 
stop and go the other way. Making your way back to center, bring the feet back, hip width apart, bring hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms into cactus and fold halfway forward, holding your tummy tight, back straight, neck in line with the rest of the back. Hold in here and breathing. Exhale all the way forward. Hold in here for a few breaths. Inhale both arms all the way up to the top. Exhale back to the heart. Inhale up. Add a little back bend. Exhale, arms cactus. Holding, breathing. Slightly forward, tilting fingertips back. Exhale, all the way forward. Inhale, that right arm up, fingers towards the sky. Exhale down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale down. Inhale, both arms all the way up, exhale down to the heart. And then we're just going to take our hands and lift our left leg up, just the knee up a little bit. Maybe bounce it up a little bit. Bring the knees down. And then the same with the right knee, just lifting it up. Yeah. And back to the heart, open up in cactus, fold halfway forward, again tilting elbows forward, fingertips back, holding your tummy nice and tight, neck in line with the rest of your back, and then fold all the way forward. Inhale, right fingers up to the sky. Exhale down. Inhale, left fingers up. Exhale down. Inhale, both arms all the way to the very top. Exhale down to the heart. And release. Happy hands, happy hips. And then start off with some marching. And then see where your hands are going. Are they going with the same leg or the opposite leg? Now we're going to switch. So stop and switch. I know that's the hard part. And release and just shrug your shoulders. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Bringing arms up at shoulder or just below shoulder height, stretching one way. And then the other. Okay. 
and come to center. And then let's just take a swim. And then stop and go the other direction. And bring hands to heart. We're going to push the hands out to the right as we look to the left, stretching a little bit farther with the neck. Inhale, center. Exhale, look the other direction. And then just flowing back and forth at a pace that feels good to you. And making your way back to center, we're going to uh, release the arms down and take uh, left ear to left shoulder, trying not to let the shoulder come up. You can hold on the chair to pull the shoulders down. Inhale, center, right ear to right shoulder. And then we're going to continue this by adding opposite arm, lift it up, not quite shoulder height. And then flow at a pace that feels good to you. And making your way back to center. Um, go ahead and interlace your fingers and push them out. In fact, just involve your shoulders, your back, stretch your whole everything out forward. And then arms straight out. We're going to stretch that wrist out one side. And then the other side, maybe going back and forth a few times. It should not hurt. A stretch is good, pain is not. So sometimes it helps just to bounce it a little bit. And then finger stars. And shake it all out. Just shake your whole body out. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. Uh, arms back to cactus, elbow kisses, hand kisses, and then shoulder blade kisses. Really try and get those shoulders together. I'll be coming around with a pencil. To see if you can hold it there between your shoulder blades. these hands to thighs. We're going to stretch um, left leg out, right leg, ankle under knee, and go ahead and stretch that left hand down. Make a fist with your right hand, bring it to your left wrist, and then we're going to do rainbow arms by making, uh, letting out one finger at a time as we go up and over and behind. Pause here. And then closing fingers the opposite way as you come up, over, and down. Open fingers. Up, over, behind. And then we're going to turn, look at your left foot, nod in approval. Oh, I need to cut that too. <laughs> Turn back, close fingers up, over, and down. And then open fingers up, over, and behind. Turn and nod. 
turn back and close fingers up over down pull that leg in plant it again ankle underneath stretching the other leg out the other arm out making a fist with your left hand bringing it to your right wrist and then opening fingers up over and behind pause here and then close fingers up over and down open fingers up over and behind turn look at your right foot nod in approval turn back close fingers up over and down and then open fingers up over behind turn and nod turn back close fingers up over and down and call all that mess in happy friends <laughs> my wrist paper <laughs> And then, um, because I think somebody asked for this eagle, so arms out, or maybe nobody asked for it. Um, and then give yourself, a, we're going to uh, left hand under right, give yourself a hug and a pat on the back. If you want to stay here, that's fine. Uh, extend the wrists up, you can have backs of hands together, or maybe you can get those left fingers in that right palm lifting the elbows up to collarbone height. Again, listen to your body, do what you can. And, uh, and then because we have our right fingers up, we're gonna take left thigh on top of right. So first off, we start off with just straight, straight back, neck in line with the back. And then we're gonna add some movement, lifting the arms the elbows up and then bringing the elbows down. So we have a little, uh, little back bend at the top and a little forward fold at the bottom. Slowly back and forth. Making your way back to center, holding nice and straight and tall. And then unwind, unwrap everything, turn some doorknobs, really involving those shoulders. And then right arm under left, another hug, another pat on the back. Extend those wrists up again, back to hand together is one option or maybe you can get those right fingers in that left palm. Um, either way, lifting elbows up to collarbone height and then taking that right thigh on top of left. We'll start off with a real straight posture, back nice and straight and tall. And then adding that movement. And then maybe if this is too hard on your shoulders, you might want to just put your hands in prayer position. That's fine too. Certainly sympathize with shoulder issues. Although my shoulders are feeling great today, we won't even begin to talk about my hips. <laughs> It's always something. Making your way back to center, unwind, unwrap, turn doorknobs again. And shake it all out. Okay. So we have a cheer dance today. It is probably my favorite. Well, I think they're all my favorite. 
And someday I will get some, well, I've kind of introduced a few new songs. I might get another new one. This is I Can See Clearly Now the Rain is Gone by Jimmy Cliff. So if you just want to sit in your chair and go like this, that is fun because it's a reggae song. So just get into the groove and just doing this. If we all did this several times a day, we would feel so much better for it, wouldn't we? Yeah. Would we? Okay. So um, we're just going to get into the rhythm. And then we. I can see clearly now. And you're always welcome to sing along. Um, and then let's see. I can't remember what the words are for this. We've heard them in a minute. And then all obstacles. Um, and then we can put one arm out, bright, 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 sunshiny day. And then the other arm out, bright, bright, sunshiny day. Um, and then we do side dabs, which are the arms push one way and the leg goes out the other way. So we might, hopefully, feeling that. And then um, we do free flow, uh, which I call keep on trucking. Opposite arm, opposite leg, go forward and then back. So um, then we have a double rainbow. And then this time we have two arms, um, sunshine day. And uh, um, look straight, I don't know, I can't remember. Look something, and then we have blue sky. So just feel that blue sky. All right, um, there we go. That's mainly it. And again, um, I am known for ad libbing during the dance. <laughs> um, you are certainly welcome to ad lib or just feel and groove with the music. And uh, let's see if we can blow everybody out of the library. I can see clearly now the I can see all of us in my Thank <laughs> you. 
manusia See, that's the thing about reggae, you just can't help smiling. All right, well, good job, everyone. We got some. Okay, so make sure I turn this down. Oh. <laughs> This is a more powerful, yeah. Okay, so we're going to blast off out, out of our chairs. So um, however you wanna get out of your chair, five, four, three, two, one, and blast off. Just like a firecracker. That's us, firecrackers. We're firecrackers. Um, so let's just do some hip circles, some hula hoops. And we'll stop and go the other way. And then coming over to one side of your chair, I think we'll do grapevines today. So take a step to the side, foot behind. The other foot comes behind, step to the side, together. Side behind, side together. And then the other way, side behind, side together, side behind, side together. If you want to get faster, you can. <laughs> and then uh, come by the side of your chair and we'll just do kicks. Kick one way and then the other. But just don't kick each other, please. <laughs> we don't want any of that. All right. And then uh, I'm turning my chair just so <laughs> people can see me. We'll go into down dog. So hands go on the back of the chair. Walk feet away from hands. Stretching and straightening the back should come down. The point of this is an axial stretch, like um, we we're doing when we stretch our arms up overhead. We're just kind of doing it in a different angle, but we're still stretching the vertebrae out. So pushing hips away from hands. You want to stretch armpits down towards the earth. That's a bonus shoulder stretch. But if it hurts, don't do that. And then starting a slow tail wag, hips to the left, hips to the right, back and forth a few times. And back to centers. Again, really stretching the back as long as you can. We'll move into warrior three. So warrior three, go ahead and put the weight in your left leg and foot, lift the right foot up behind you. You can stay here with hands on the chair, or you can lift one or both hands up off the chair for a balance warrior three. Release hands to chair, foot to earth. We'll move to the other side. So using the right leg to support, lifting the left leg up slightly, and then again, staying here, or maybe lifting one or both hands off the chair. Release hands to chair, foot to earth, and then back into down dog. Hips pushing away from the hands. And then releasing, walking up towards your chair. We'll come into up dog, up on your toes, chin lifted. Exhale down on your heels, toes lifted. 
and just flowing back and forth between these two poses, stretching what feels good to stretch. Center, feet on the floor. And I know we did this last time, but we can do it again. Um, I realized I hadn't done it for any of the recordings. So I thought I would like pay attention to what I put on the previous recordings and not just do the same thing over and over again. Jane says she has all of them memorized. Okay. Um, Sunberg, uh, left arm up, right leg back, and then stretch them away from each other. Oh. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And you reach down and then other side, right arm up, left leg back, stretch, stretch. Down. Left arm up, right leg back, stretch, stretch. And then bend elbow and knee into a salute. And then stretch back out long. Stand on the side. Stretch arm and leg out. Bend and salute. Stretch out again. Stand. Bird side. Arm up. Leg out. Really stretching the width of each other. Thank you for your salute and then bend the standing knee and hold your curtsy for a couple of breaths. Straighten up, stretch out, release, other side, stretch out, salute, and curtsy, up, stretch out. Please move. Maybe some more hula hoops. Okay. Other direction. Okay, so uh, right foot behind chair, left foot in that power position. We're going to place the um, we're going to bend that right knee, knee over ankle, place the right forearm on the chair, and then lifting that left arm up next to the left ear. This is extended side angle pose. And then we'll straighten that right knee, take fingers to the sky for triangle pose, really focusing on opening the chest up, trying not to look down at the ground, trying to look up at the opposite wall. And then we're gonna revolve our triangle by switching arms. Uh, and we're going to try something wild and crazy. So we're going to scoot that um, back leg or it's the front leg back a little bit and lift the, the back leg off the ground. And this is star pose. We are all stars. So um, it's almost a falling star. <laughs> please, we don't <laughs> want any falling stars. And then release down and step feet together. Actually, um, step feet out wide, second position if you remember your ballet classes. And uh, uh, we'll come down, bend the knees and arms in cactus. And then we're just going to look to the left and look to the right. 
a little twist. And coming to center and then tilting, tilt, tilt. And come up and step left leg to right. This time we're going to put the left foot behind the chair, right foot in power position, bend that left knee over left ankle, left forearm on the chair. And then lifting that right arm up to the right ear, holding side angle pose, enjoying the stretch. I'm stretching several sets of muscles in this pose. Straighten that left knee, taking those right fingers towards the sky, really opening that chest up. Triangle pose. And then revolving triangle by switching arms. Back to the first side. And then kind of dragging that front foot back a little bit. We're going to lift the leg and the arm and, and try to be a star up in the sky. Star pose. Stand. Get together, then open back up because we can't go without moonflower, right? Right. So coming down and moonflower. Shaking it out a little bit. Moving into our balance poses. Oh, we've snuck a few balance poses in already today, but this is our official one. Um, so we'll do tree pose. Uh, I'd say we could do temple pose, but we'll save that for the advanced class. <laughs> okay. I had a class one time, I'm like, yeah, what's temple pose? What's temple pose? Well, it's a little bit more advanced. I don't even think I could do it anymore. <laughs> oh okay. Ooh, I need to do that more. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Hands uh one hand at the heart, one on the chair. If you need so you know what your, your head is telling you today. Again, from day to day it varies with me. Um, so have that hand near the chair if you need that safety net. Um, so we're going to put the weight into that left leg and foot, feeling all four corners of the foot, staying lifted in that hip, and then finding your, your uh, balance point. You can have foot on top of foot, foot below knee, foot above knee. So find your point where that uh, works for you. Um, and then growing one or both branches, again, having a hand near the chair, you just need that support. And so finding a focal point will help you. It could be on the floor, it could be on the wall in front of you, and then starting your ocean breathing. Okay, release the arms down, back to the heart, step out of the pose and step it out a little bit. And then other side, again, staying lifted in ankle, lifted in hip. And then finding, um, you may be at a different level on this side, growing one or both branches, keeping a hand near the chair if you need that, finding your focal point, 
and start in your ocean breathing. Turning hands to the heart, stepping out of the pose, and then step it out. So, again, we've talked about the importance of doing that pose. That is, that is balance is the thing that that starts going. And so, um, if you have any older relatives or friends, you know um, that that's a big problem. So, you, it's something you have to work on. And uh, so. Um, Sheila's got a whole wealth of balance poses that are really great. Uh, uh, what was uh, one I like a lot is just um, kitchen counter is a, is a good one. Foot in front of foot, right? Just one foot in front of foot, walk and then the try line. and what? Walk a straight line. Walk a straight line. Like so, Brian. Right. Yeah. No, <laughs> you'll be ready <laughs> if they pull you over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to put a book on your head. Then you have good. You can work on your good posture while you're working on your balance. Okay. Yeah, one one side of my ears so. I have yeah. Sometimes and again, it's kind of funny. You think it would be symmetrical, but it's not necessarily symmetrical because one one day I can do you know whatever I want to treat on one side, and then the other side. Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so let's uh, find our chairs and not flop daintily return to your seat. Okay. So flex and point, hands and feet, and then making circles, one direction, and then the other direction, and then paddle. Okay, bringing feet down, we're going to put bottoms of feet together and interlace fingers behind the head. We put together two poses. I learned these poses separately and then it just seemed to me that they worked great together. So um, we're going to, uh, as you open and close your elbows and knees, you want to feel like you're, uh, have, um, you're doing it through thick mud or something. So bringing your elbows and knees together and then opening up and lifting your chest up in the middle and then closing everything down again like you're going through thick mud. Opening back up. Feels good. I'm gonna do one more round. And release and marching. Why do I always I always start up for a while there? I was always starting out with opposite hand, opposite leg. But now when I do marching, the same hand, same leg. Yeah. But then we're gonna switch. <laughs> it's hard to switch. <laughs> Okay, then feet wide, and then we'll just do some. What is that? I can't even Charleston. do it. It's Charleston, yes. Okay, um, go ahead and grab that left knee, lifting it into your chest, back nice and straight and tall. that leg down and then the other leg and release that down interlace fingers behind head again and then we'll do 
opposite elbow or elbow to opposite knee. So the knee can just uh, lift straight up and then you're doing a little twist with your shoulders. Come back to center and then we're gonna bicycle. Last time we we'll reversed it. I could not do it at all. Let's see if I can do it today because I did ride my bicycle completely. Do you ride your bicycle today? Every day. Every day. <laughs> You're so good. And then stop and go the opposite direction. <laughs> oh well. It's a skill you've got to work on. <laughs> all right. And then windshield wipers. And then we're going to windshield wiper all the way to the right, planting that right foot, taking that left leg out long on the ball of your left foot. And then you can stay here on the chair, or you can come up off the chair. Either way, arms up above you. And if you want to add just a slight back bend, this is crescent pose. Release the arms, come back in the chair if you're off, and then switch all the way to the other side. So staying on the chair if you need to, or coming off, either way, lifting arms up overhead into a slight, slight back bend. Pose on this side. Release arms, come back on the chair if you were off, and finish with a few more windshield wipers. All right, coming to center, feet hip width apart, maybe. You know, you can adjust forward and back if you aren't feeling. The balance right in your chair, you can go forward and back in the chair. So I'm not sure what to say on this one. So uh, we're going to go ahead and lift that left leg up, uh, knee to chest, back nice and straight. And then we're going to release, keep hold of knee with one hand, foot, and the foot should be flexed with the other. Bring that. Uh, heel kind of over the bottom leg. And then this is a pose called bow and arrow, where you just bring the knee towards the shoulder and then heel towards the bottom knee. And then releasing ankle to foot or to ankle to uh, thigh. Both hands go on the knee and then gently paying attention Again, we don't want any pain, but just stretching the hip flexors there. And then bringing hands to heart. Um, you can do this lower down. You can do an ankle over um, shin or ankle over ankle. So um, again, it doesn't have to be, we're all built differently. And then folding forward towards that cross knee or cross leg. Releasing the hands, grab knee with one hand, foot with the other, and lift it up towards your chest or just lift it up a little bit. And then maybe it feels good to Rock it back and forth. And then setting that left thigh on top of right, right fingers on the left thigh, left fingers on the chair. Um, and we'll do a full twist. So the important thing about a twist is keeping the back really, really straight. So back nice and straight, inhale, straight back. And then exhale, start looking to the left. 
Inhale, straight. Exhale, twist a little more. Inhale, center, release the arms, add a little counter twist. Come back to center, uncross the legs, and then we'll lift that right knee up, nice straight back. And then holding on to the knee with one hand, the foot with the other, flexing that foot and then bring the knee towards shoulder, heel towards bottom knee. And then releasing that foot down can be on the thigh, on the shin, or on the ankle. I think I'll show it on the ankle. This you pick your own level. Hands at the heart, and then folding forward towards that crossed leg. Trying to keep the back straight. And then grabbing foot with one hand, knee with the other, lifting up in front of you. And then if it feels good, side to side, stretching those hip muscles. And then releasing right thigh to left, left leg, uh, left ankle under left knee, uh, left, whatever this hand is, uh, left hand on right thigh, right hand on the chair or across the small of your back, inhale tall, exhale looking to the right. <clears throat> With each breath, inhale tall, exhale twist a little more. Inhale, center, release the arms, add a little counter twist. Inhale, center, release the legs, finish with a few windshield wipers. And then it's time for our relaxation and meditation. So like many, many years ago, I went through um, Transcendental meditation. How many people took that course in the 70s? <laughs> I took biofeedback, but not transcendental meditation. Oh my goodness. That was like the big thing on college campus <laughs> yep. to take that class. And so I took it. And uh, uh, so there was a point here at some point. Anyway, um, so it's just an, uh, I had some problems relaxing. And so they told me this. They told me I needed to go do yoga. I'm like, what's yoga? So wow. that's when I got, you and I had the same book. Oh, that way I went to a used bookstore and I found that yoga book and I did the exercises out of that book. So a lot of times I'm doing some physical, taking a walk um, and then spending time, some quiet time in prayer or meditation or just relaxing. So uh, we're gonna do a body scan so uh, just relaxing, hands on the thighs, feet flat on the floor, seat bones in the middle of the seat, stacking vertebrae one on top of the other, rolling shoulders back, closing eyes down, inhaling deep into the body. In fact, I kind of like thinking, feeling like your body is hollow. And as you inhale that air, you can Feel it moving down into your fingertips, down into your toes, your body inflating like a balloon. And then as you exhale, all that air rushing out, your body deflating. So, blowing up like a balloon. 
filling all the nooks and crannies and releasing out. Bringing your attention to your forehead, allowing the muscles there to relax and release, allowing the muscles of your scalp to relax and release, allowing a wave of relaxation to start flowing down through your face, through your cheeks, your jaws, relaxing your neck into your shoulders, relaxing, releasing. Inhaling another wave of relaxation. It flows gently over head, neck, shoulders, rolling down each upper arm, through the elbows, down the forearms, wrists, hands, fingers melting, to the earth. Inhaling another wave of relaxation, flowing overhead, neck, shoulders, rolling down the upper chest, down the upper back, through the midsection, to your hips, relaxing, releasing, melting into the earth. Inhaling another wave of relaxation, overhead, neck, shoulders, through your whole torso, through your hips, rolling down each thigh, through each knee, lower legs, relaxing, releasing, ankles, feet, toes, melting into the earth. With each breath, starting that wave of relaxation, allowing it to flow through your entire body, your entire body melting into the earth. Bringing your attention back to your body. Start a gentle sway motion. Wiggle fingers and toes. Bringing hands to the heart. Opening up into your beautiful lotus flower. Your heart sending light and love out to all you need and think of today, take your light up, open out in your halo, take a breath for the body, take a breath for the mind, take a breath for the spirit. Be thankful for the help you have. Namaste. Namaste. Thank y'all for Thank joining you. me. Thank you, Elizabeth. Good job. Bye. See you, Jackie. Bye-bye.